doozy today. So, this guitar got thrown out of a window, believe it or not. It's a FG140. It's old. It's from the 70s, 80s. I mean, I'm not sure I'll, if I figure out exactly. There's no serial number on it. If I figure out exactly, I'll flash it up on the screen. But as it was getting thrown out the window, we see that the neck completely separated from its joint, the back separated from the sides, and there's a little bit of neck block damage internally as well. Long-term parking. This is not gonna be a short project. Nice. I'm thinking that most of what's holding this neck on at the moment is this fretboard extension. I started using this heating pad so I don't have to deal with big books and all sorts of stuff like that. And it's proven to be really, really good. Just apply heat to exactly where I want to and nowhere else. I decided to forego the fret removal thing because first of all with Yamahas, that's almost impossible. And uh, secondly, any finishing repair that I might have to do is so secondary. Okay. Not as bad back here as I thought it would be. So now that we have the neck off, we gotta let it do its thing for a couple days and sort of dry out and whatnot. I'm gonna remove some glue and all that in the meantime. Okay, a couple days later here and we are completely dried out. And I've begun my evaluation, as it were, of sort of the structural integrity of the guitar. This here is absolutely d heavily damaged. So I took some sandpaper and ran it underneath here in that little crease to kind of clean out any of the old glue that might have been there. And so when you, if you sort of watch what happens when I do this and like really clamp this down hard, it fixes a lot of the structural issues that we have with this back here. So what I'm gonna do is run glue underneath here, run it through here, up you know, underneath this little part. The clamps are off. We can see that like we were talking about before, just getting that neck block back in line solves so many structural issues back here. The only thing I have to do for the time being is get this binding back in line, but I am not too worried about that. Here we are after a nice naphtha cleaning. Stuff works wonders, look at that. Starting to look like a respectable vintage guitar body. Doing a little bit of clean up here before I let it sit. So we're taking care of everything at once. We had the fingerboard extension clamped down here. I have a little bit of down pressure to kind of really get that joint nice and snug uh, using the strap. And of course the uh, dovetail joint getting clamped in with the, uh, the big metal clamp here. So sometimes the difficult part is trying to figure out where to put an apparatus like this. Okay back together and the joints holding nice and tight so that's good the action's a bit high because of the saddle I put in but it's definitely workable and will be workable for a long time uh, I initially wasn't gonna do too much cosmetic work on it just because of what it is but I might try to conceal some of these little chips that happen with the initial injury check out this action oh yeah uh. 